Okay, we're going to walk through how to install WordPress on Google App Engine. I'm starting with a few elements that we'll use uh, during the process. Um, so I've already installed uh, Google App Engine Launcher and at MySQL Workbench. Both of these uh, should work on multiple platforms. So. And WordPress, uh, this is just downloaded from the WordPress website. Okay. Um, and then I got some text files that I use throughout the process. So um, when you use Google App Engine, what you usually want to do is you want to build and test things locally. And then once you're satisfied with uh, you know what you've done, then you'll deploy to Google App Engine remotely. And then of course you need to test again and everything. Um, but that's basically the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to build WordPress so it runs both locally and on Google App Engine. Um, but the first step here is we're going to create the Google App Engine process. And so I'm going to go to uh, Google Cloud Console. Okay. And when I get there, I'm going to create a new project. Okay. So um, this project name, so I'll say how about uh, push demo Google App Engine. Um, okay, and so this project name and the project ID, project ID is important, we're going to save that for later. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take that this notes file that's just empty, and this is going to be my project ID. I'm going to need that later, uh, so you'll definitely want to uh, save that. Okay, um, and then I have to pick my billing account here. Okay, and uh, so now uh, when I create, I'm going to create that project and uh, it's going to take a little while to do that. Um, we'll just wait for the spinner here. Okay. Um, so now that it's created, I can click on it and it'll take me to that new project that we just created. Okay. Um, so next step here is I want to go in and I want to set up SQL for WordPress because WordPress does use SQL. So I'll come in here and uh, I'll need to create an instance of, of my SQL. Okay. And here uh, you can choose whatever you want uh, for this, for this, uh, you know, kind of what you need in terms of uh, storage and everything. Uh, I'll just stick with development just for this demo. Okay. Now this instance ID is important um, because we're going to need it later. Um, and so we want to pick something that is different than the project ID, but something that's easy to remember. So I'll do database ID. And uh, what I'll do is just add DB to the end here. So my push demo Google App Engine um, DB. Okay. And so that's going to be my instance ID I'll use here. And then uh, for the password, um, I'll just uh, set one here. And this is for my database. Um, so I'll just choose something simple for a demo, but of course you'll want to choose something different. Okay. Okay, and uh, and that's all we have to do. Make sure you choose a more uh, secure password, of course, but you get the idea. So I'm going to create my instance. This takes a little while, um, but we'll just wait for a moment here. Okay, so the disk, the instance is created and it's being set up right now. Uh, there's another th step we have to do on uh, App Engine and that we have to choose where our instance is going to be hosted. Okay, So um, I go into App Engine uh, and select Dashboard and uh, we're going to have to pick which language. So it's going to be PHP. That's what WordPress is built upon is PHP. Okay, And then it'll get us to choose our location and uh, it'll take a few moments here. Okay, um, so uh, when you create a new uh, App Engine project here, um, it wants you to go through the tutorial, but we don't need to because we already know what we're doing. So I'm just going to dismiss it, cancel the tutorial, um, and we'll do the deployment um, using the uh, Google App Engine Launcher. 
Okay, so everything's good here. Um, there was something we'll have to come back for on the ISQL side, um, but right now that uh, SQL instance will still be uh, being created and everything. Um, so we'll ha we'll have to come back later anyway. Okay, so let's go back to our files here. So I've got my WordPress installation, and what we're going to do is in Google App Engine Launcher, we're going to create a new project. Okay, and now the application ID is going to be the same ID that we used earlier. Okay, so these have to match, of course. And uh, there we go. And then you just choose your location. And now you have to select PHP just like we selected PHP over on the Google App Engine side. Okay, so I got my application ID, it needs to match. And I've chosen PHP, create the project. Okay, so now it created this new folder here. Uh, with some files in it, and it already has a, a PHP file in it, but we're not going to use that because we're, of course, going to use WordPress. Okay, so I'm going to delete these two files because they're not needed, and I'll drag over my uh, WordPress installation and unzip it. Now, all the WordPress files need to be put into the same directory, at least in how we're doing it here. Okay. I'll just close this. Um, and so what I need to do is I need to take these files and just drag them into the folder there. With the, It's got to be in the same folder as the app.yaml. And uh, now I guess I can delete this and then this is an empty folder so I'll get rid of both of those. Okay, so I've got this handlers to use file. This is a slightly modified version of what you'll find online. Uh, showing how to use WordPress with uh, Google App Engine. And so I'm just going to replace the, the default handlers in this uh, thing. So you get the main.php, so we deleted those files. Here I'm replacing this with the WordPress stuff, and I'm going to save that. Okay. And uh, okay, so now I've got my YAML set up correctly. I've got my WordPress installation put in there. And uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to configure WordPress. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this hyphen sample there because this is what you have to do with WordPress. And I need to modify this file. It's got to be named wp-config. That's very important. Okay. Okay, so for the database name, well, we have the database name from earlier, if you remember. It's this uh, guy that we, we saved earlier. Okay. And i uh, going to put that in there. Uh, by default on Google App Engine, the user you would use is root, okay? And then for the database password, if you remember, we used abc123, okay? And then uh, for the MySQL host name, uh, the, I have another uh, uh, thing here that we're going to copy. And just let me replace. So initially it starts out with just localhost. Um, and that would be fine if all we wanted to do is deploy locally, but we also want to deploy to Google App Engine, right? Um, okay, so now I have, if we're, this basically says, if we're on Google App Engine, use this, um, but there's some information missing that we'll grab in a second here. And if we're not, then we use what was there before, which is localhost, okay? And so I need to get the, uh, the ID of the database out of uh, Google App Engine. So I'm going to go over back over to the SQL tab. Remember I told you we're going to come back here. And everything should be set up now. That's good. It's got the green check mark. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to click that to copy it. This is the instance name that you use with WordPress um, in order to uh, set that. Okay. So I'm going to come back here. And what it, you do is put a, after the colon slash SQL slash I'm going to add the same ID you see here is going to go there, okay? And that lets an instance running on Google App Engine uh, talk to that database, okay? And if it's not running on the App Engine, it will just connect to the local host. Um, and of course, you know we got the, the password set up and everything from before, okay? Uh, one other step we have to do on S SQL is we need to create a database um, with that ID that matches what we had before. Okay, and so I know that this ID and the name of the database are the same, that's fine. Okay, and now for this uh, collation, 
Um, you need to pick something specific here, and it's UTF-8, and then general CI. Okay, so we're going to use UTF-8, UFTH, general CI. There's my database name from earlier, and I'm going to create that. Okay, uh, again, it says it'll take a little while, but here we've got the database. And now, so now I have things set up on Google App Engine, uh, but I also need to do this the same step again, but do it locally on my local machine, okay? Um, so I've set up my SQL workbench with that same password uh, that you saw we were using there. And so I'm going to come in here and... Uh, and I'm just going to create a database, an empty database with that name, the same ID as before. And then I have to pick the same um, UTF-8 uh, general as we did before. Okay. So I'm creating a database that matches the database. And it's just empty right now, of course. Both of them are. Um, and so we've created a database locally with this name, and then we also have a database on Google App Engine with the same name. So if you go back to that config file, if you remember, um, you know, so we've got this user is, is, exists in both places, the database with this name exists in both places, of course the access is a little different, and then everything here should be set up correctly. So we should be good um, um, to move forward here. So the next step is um, we've already created our project and if you remember we've set up our database and we've also configured WordPress and the files within. So I can actually hit run here and then um, this is going to run it locally on my machine. Okay, And so once it's running I'll be able to hit on browse and it'll run on my local machine uh, WordPress here. So I can go ahead and uh, my site and then uh, maybe I'll use user user as my uh, username here. This is for WordPress. I'll just copy that. That's for WordPress, of course. And then uh, I'll just use this password. That's fine. Um, and then there you go. You, can, you, you have now successfully installed WordPress. Okay, and now I can log in. So I'll use the user user and then the password. And I can log into WordPress. And there we go. So I'm now uh, into WordPress. Um, and then I can uh, also visit the site uh, that I created. And there you go. Okay, so this is running locally though. This is not running on uh, Google App Engine yet. Okay, so what, what do I have to do different? Well, um, got that tab open, uh, but everything is already set up as well. So here, um, all I have to do is hit the deploy button, and this is going to deploy to Google App Engine. Okay, so this process takes a little bit, um, but it's going to scan all the files and it's going to upload them to Google App Engine. So deployment was successful, um, and now it's done deploying. So everything is up and running on there. Um, and what we're going to do is I'll need to get the address here. How I get the address is I just come to App Engine is where you can get the link. You can also just guess it because it's probably just your id.appspot.com. And so... Um, now we're up and running, and this is on Google App Engine now. So um, maybe I'll call this one Google App Engine Site. And then I might want to use the same, the same username. And then, and then uh, I can log in again. And that's all there is to it. Now I have Google App Engine running both locally and on my other website. And if I want to see the actual site again, um, I can just come in here, and there you go. And of course, this is it's running locally, and this is on Google App Engine. You can see the URLs there.
Okay.